So first, a couple of slides here. Uh, well, just uh, talk briefly about uh, uh, what I'll show or what the problem is. The typical problem is, is, is in the company that uh, most of the data is actually managed in spreadsheets and it often ends up looking like this. And an Excel spreadsheet is not a database that makes it easy for people to collaborate uh, on this data. And uh, so, so this is often the landscape uh, that we see with customers that they have data flowing around in many different documents and formats, Excel spreadsheets, customizations and various systems. And the reason is because there are many people involved in managing this data in many different departments. So they I have- I know you're gonna share data. my diagram, Dick. <laughs> well, um, I'm, I'm glad you, you remember it. And, uh, and, and the reason for, for, for this is because there are many different people and, and they need to manage uh, different data and it's very easy to just start an Excel spreadsheet and then start managing some data there. But you manage some data that someone else also needs and, and it just keep, uh, creates one big mess like this, uh, which is hard to maintain and it's very hard to figure out where is the latest up-to-date information about your products. So the solution to this is Perfion. So you can think of Perfion up here in the left-hand corner. This is your new spreadsheet, we could call it, but it's the single source of truth, the place where everyone in your organization can go and manage the data they need, but they can also go and pull all the data they need. So they don't have to manage everything they need. Someone else might manage, be managing some of it for you. So you get one single source where everyone can collaborate, and then you can from that source, you can publish your data to Amazon, you can publish them to your website, you can create data sheets, price lists, catalogs, everything out of, of this um, single source. You can deliver it to your business partners, you can import data, you can map data between many different formats, um, both on the input and output side. So uh, that this essentially creates one single source of truth where everyone in, the, in each of the departments can now collaborate about the data. And uh, we have a, a lot of customers around the world. Uh, most of them are still in, in Europe. We have over 300 customers in the world and you may recognize some of the names here. Some of the, the key strengths of Perfion is that you all heard uh, uh, that, that it's very easy to get it up and running. But it also, as, as we heard, uh, Brian is still working on the implementation after seven years. <clears throat> and this is actually an important thing to think about because um, it, it, what it really boils down to is, is that uh, product data evolves all the time. You come up with new types of products and new features about the products that you want to describe. So the system has to be flexible so that you can manage all of this on your own add new stuff to it. I, I usually say that product data is, is dynamic, it's alive. So, so, um, so that's why the implementation will never finish. It, it will keep on going forever because it, it never stops. Uh, but, but the most important thing is that you can get up and running with Perfion very fast. It's fast to implement. It's 100% standard. So, so everything is drag and drop configurable. And, and that really gives you the toes, uh, the, the the total cost of ownership over time, the lowest of, of any solution out there because it's so flexible and everything can, can just be done drag and drop. And it comes out of the box with integrations to ERP systems, integrated digital asset management, and, and, and a lot more. So uh, I'll show you now, I'll jump into the demo and show you how you can actually use Perfian to manage this data. And, and feed a lot of these uh, output sources. We have a lot of different clients also that you can use uh, to, to interact with Perfion. Uh, we have both a web client and a rich client. I'll start out, start out here with the web client. And you can see I, I have some various areas here where I can manage uh, different data. And I am, um, I guess it just needs to be refreshed here. It's been on. or a while yeah so uh, i have different areas i can manage up here and i have some categories of products here and i can click on cars here and now you can see here on the right hand side some cars are turning up i have a hierarchy here on the right hand side too i can open the audi series here i have some different views i can enable a more compact view or i can switch to 
a more, uh, yeah, uh, presentational card view here where you can see a lot of images as well. I can dive, let me jump back to this view here and, and look into the A4 series here where you can see I have a, a view of some of the data about these cars. So the hierarchy on this side, um, you can think of this as a series of products, and then you have the different variants here. So what I can use that for is, is it makes me po possible for me to manage data at a higher level. When I do that, it automatically inherits all of that data to the lower level. So if, for example, you have a lot of products that share a lot of information, you can attach that information at a higher level. And then everything that you create underneath that level will automatically get that data. And you can see, for example, these images here, I've attached those to the A4 series level. So if I wanted to add an image here, I just open the control. I could pick an image here and drag it right in here. Maybe I want to position it here as the first image, click on OK. And now you can see I've actually uh, applied this image to all of the variants here. And the same goes for all these other values. I can open them and edit them. And I can configure many different views to look at here. And if I want to see all the, the details uh, about a product item, uh, I can open the item editor. And this basically gives me access to all of the information that I have about an item grouped into different areas here of the information. What I can also do is I could, for example, pick a couple of items here and then with the built-in um, uh, reporting, uh, we can create, for example, a data sheet. Oh, keyboard didn't work here. Oh, I got Maybe I want it in high resolution. And now it's gonna take all the English language values because Perfin can also manage data in all languages in the world. So I specified here that I wanted to use the English language values and I wanted to fill them out into a template here. So now I quickly generated um, two data sheets on these products with all the latest up-to-date information here about the products. So a lot of possibilities here. And uh, we also have this uh, built-in dashboard that allows you to actually see the status of your products, like your different categories uh, here by brand or the workload on, on different uh, managers in, in the tool. But let me try and jump over to show the, the same thing here also in, in uh, the rich client here. Let me go to this view. You can see again, I have categories here on the left-hand side. If I click on cars, again, I get this list over here just like before. And, and in here, this is a, a native app that, that allows you to, um, to, to use, uh, to, to become even more powerful for the user. We have actually uh, created it so it has all of the same shortcuts as you're used to in Excel. So this means uh, if I extend this view, for example, and I wanted to edit, uh, multiple values in one go. I just click on all of them, type in a value, and now I've edited all of it at the same time. Or I can jump up here and set a value, and now it's going to inherit that value to all of these items. And uh, so you, you pretty much have all the same uh, functionality here as you're used to in, in Excel, and, and you can use your arrow keys to move around and, and, and everything. So, uh, and I can also quickly create a, a search here. Maybe I want to find all of my petrol cars here uh, that are eight cylinder. Now I found those. And if, if I want to create a special view with some columns I'm interested in, I could get rid of a few here. Maybe I don't want, and maybe I want to add a column here. Maybe I want to add acceleration into the view. So move it up here. And if this is a view that I need to come back to and, and work with often, then I can store this as my special view. And then it's available up, up here. I can always apply that view. And I can directly from here, I can always export the data uh, to Excel quickly. So let me put that on my desktop. And 
you can see I've got all of that data in Excel now. And I can even, just as you're used to here, copy paste all that data, another way of, of, of doing it. So very efficient tool to work with. And, uh, but let me jump back to my other view here that I came from here. And uh, you can also see this image is already here. So let me show how we could actually uh, start uh, uh, the product. You could, you could start the, pro the life of a new product just by adding a new product right here. But uh, just to show you how an integration to an ERP system could work, I will open an ERP system that I have installed here. And uh, it doesn't really matter what ERP system it is. I've created an entirely new item here called A480. Uh, probably doesn't exist in the real world. And I've added some price information here for that car as well. Perkin doesn't know about that, that uh, car yet. So I'm in an ERP system over here now. So, uh, but Perkin is linked uh, to that system. So all I, I have to do here now is, is just go up uh, here and uh, sync remote data from the solution, click on OK. And Perfian is now checking that system to find out whether it can find any uh, item numbers that it did not know about. And if we click up here, you can see it found one. This is this new item from over here. And you can see it's already got that sales price of 62000 that I have over here. If I go into the ERP system and change that price, let's say we want to bump it to 67000 Now I've edited the price in the ERP system. And over here in Perfion, I can just refresh it, and you can see it's already 67000 here now. So it's live linked to the ERP system. You can also see I have some controls here that's measuring the readiness. It's, it's very incomplete, this product right now, because it, it only has the information that comes from the ERP system. And if we look at this form, you can see it has an item number. It doesn't have any images yet. Almost no fields for technical specifications here. So, so uh, it needs a lot more information. So be before I do anything with this item, I'm actually going to drag it over here in the car category. And if we take a look at it here again, then what you'll notice is that uh, now it's got more fields on the form. All of these fields are relevant for cars. So in Perfion, you can very easily set up dependencies. You can very easily create new fields where you would do that down here. I don't think we have time to show that today. But, but if you're interested in seeing it, you're very welcome to uh, we can arrange a, a more thorough demo afterwards. But it's very easy to add new fields and features and you can, you can tell Perfi on what types of products they're relevant for. And, and the reason these turned off here is because Perfi now knows it's a car, so it knows this information is relevant for cars. But before I do anything, I'm just gonna drag it up here in that A4 series where it actually belongs. And you can see the readiness here is, is growing. And if we look at the form here again, you will notice that now I already have some images because they are inherited from the, the parents here. I have all the color options available that are shared and about half of the technical specifications. So I only really need to uh, type in the very specific information about this car. Like an eight cylinder and it's, uh, that's all. Doesn't go very far on the reader here. Oh, my. Maybe it's 2,200 pounds. And we can also load in a specific image of this car. Let's just grab the same image here. And descriptions, you can see uh, two fields next to one another. This is English and German. I speak both languages, both English, German, Danish. Um, so um, uh, so you can set up as many languages as the user can handle here if, if, if you're an international company. This would be a great car in English and in German it would be called Super Auto. And you can also type in some style text here. Uh, great car, uh, header, very super. We can make it bold and create a heading here, click OK, I'll click save and close. And 
what you'll see is, is the readiness is growing. And we can, we can set up and configure as many of these controls as you need to, to, to simply monitor your data so that you can see if there's anything missing on your products. The images are apparently ready for this car now, but they're still a little bit missing on, on, on the general information. And, and so you can have as many of those as you like. Okay, so it's very um, uh, fast and, and easy for, for the users to manage information here. And uh, it's also very easy to add new types of information. But of course, uh, uh, one of the purposes of, of having this information is also to use it. So down here at the bottom, I have various sections. I have one here called e-commerce, where up at the top, you can see I have the same hierarchy here uh, as before. I can take a look at my cars. But down here uh, at the bottom, I have some different uh, channels that I, I want to feed. Shopify or Santa, Magento, Amazon, Google, whatever I need, we can manage it, it all here. And uh, uh, right here, I, for example, have a Shopify shop and, and I've got one car in each of these collections in Shopify. And I've actually, if I jump over here, you'll notice these are the two cars I have in this shop here, in Shopify right now. So, um, I would like to add something to that uh, channel. So I'll just go up here or I could go search for it. And let's just try and grab this BMW coupe here and drag that down here. And uh, you can see now I got that BMW down here and it's already okay to publish. So in, in, in a minute, this should turn up here in the Shopify shop. And while we're just waiting for this to turn up, I will jump over here into catalogs and show you how we can actually uh, use the same data to uh, publish information to a catalog. So I have a, a different structure set up here for a master catalog where I have also picked some items that I have dragged down into my catalog. So I can, I, I, and I can also put information on the catalog structure. So if I want an image to cover a certain section in a catalog, I can just add it as a new column here. And, and then I can manage that data. And I can put drag any car in here. So we have a, a built-in tool uh, that allows you to actually design and, and use this information in, in your outputs. And, uh, and, and this, again, um, it's very easy to use this tool and it can do a lot of things. And, but, but this would require a little bit more time to share. So, in a demo uh, another day. Um, but let me just show you what you can do from here. I can actually use one of these uh, templates that someone has created. So this is a catalog. And uh, again, I'll feed it with the English language and click on view. So now it's actually generating a, a small catalog including this structure and all of the, the products that I added to this structure. And you can see that here now. And the price information in this case is coming from out of live out of the ERP system. Technical specifications, images, everything is managed in, in Perfion now. And, and just if I had selected German, everything would have been in German here instead. And directly from here, I can output this to a number of different formats, PDF, rich text, Excel, even image formats. And just as I did um, before, I can also pick individual items here and pick one of these templates here and run those. And uh, now it's gonna generate an output for these three. It's as easy as that. And you can also, uh, here I'm using the built-in tool, and the built-in tool, the advantage of that tool is that it runs 100% automatically. Uh, so you can simply create a template and then everyone else can just use that template and generate output on the fly by the push of a button. But we also have, um, uh, can offer you a plugin in InDesign. So for more creative catalogs where maybe half of the content is product data and the other half is is something else that you just create ad hoc in your catalog. Well, um, I, I 
we can we can uh, offer you a plugin in InDesign also that allows you to 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 work in that way way and that gives a lot more flexibility in building it up. So most of our customers actually use both approaches. They use uh, the built-in tool for things that can be published quickly right away. Things like price lists and informative um, catalogs, data sheets. Uh, you can even publish those data sheets on your website so they are fed live to your website, always up to date, so you don't have to go to your website and upload new versions of, of those. Uh, so everything works here, built in for 100% automation and InDesign for 100% flexibility instead. But maybe you also want to, uh, to deliver your data to one of your customers or, or someone, uh, a channel that needs your data in a certain format. Then we have an area here called actions where you can you can simply define an, an action to take the data out of Perfion and transform it um, into whatever format it needs to be delivered. And it could be an XML format, it could be in CSV or Excel format, and maybe the images have to be named in a certain way or be be uh, of a certain format. Maybe they have to be JPEG or PNG or they, they can't be uh, bigger than a certain size, or they have to be in a certain size. All of that stuff, you can create an action to, to manipulate your data, uh, combine fields, rename fields, anything. So let me just show you an example of that. Uh, if I open this, you can see I have an into Dick, let and me just interrupt. There was a, a question, uh, and that is, if I invest in Perfion, do I also need to invest in a dam? You were showing some of the the way that uh, you dem you uh, pull photos, and so that's a good question. Yeah, no, uh, I would say no. You don't you don't have to invest in a dam. It comes completely integrated with digital asset management functionality. You can manage all your images. You can set up as many fields and features to handle uh, pictures or files, videos, anything uh, you like. Uh, can be handled with Perfin as well. So let me continue with this example here. I have an empty folder here. And uh, now I, I would like to generate, um, I've set up here an action that's actually gonna export data to customer two. And customer two has some requirements to what the data should look like and, and requirements for the images. So the user just have to click here and it's done. And you can see it exported an Excel sheet with um, three images here. And if I open the Excel sheet, that Excel sheet has uh, references to those images. And during this process, all of those columns here were renamed. This is not what they were called in Perfion. And uh, the, the file uh, names here, the images were also renamed and, and they were uh, resized to fit the purpose here. So this is an example, um, and if you're interested, we can, uh, in another demo, dive into. I can show you how easy it is to set up a, an action that actually does this for you uh, very easily. And uh, what we also have is, um, let me open Word. We have a small plugin for all of the Office applications like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint that actually gives the user direct access to Perfion inside the Office applications. So here you can see, I can go up here, search for Audi in this case. And when I click on a product here, you can see all of the product detail down here. If I wanna insert that image into my document, I just position the cursor wherever I want it, double click the image, and then it's inserted into my document. If I wanna find the description, I search for it, you double click it, and then I got that in my document. And maybe I wanna insert a table of, let's just select three of these products, and I would like to create a table, and let's grab all of my features here, and maybe move the description up here, and I wanna present them side by side in a vertical table here in the Word document. Now Perkin is inserting all of that data into the Word document. And I can use the standard Word functionality here to make it look a little better. So now it looks like this. And this works both in, in Word and Excel and PowerPoint. 
And if we just, uh, yeah, remember, I you know, have to come back to Shopify, I drag an item in here. And if we go to here, and if I refresh this page, reload, we'll see I got that BMW Coupe now published to uh, my Shopify shop. So I think I that, that concluded the, the quick run through of the demo that I wanted to show here today.